Russian President Vladimir Putin has not yet said if Russia would renew the deal under which Moscow allowed Ukraine to ship its grain across the Black Sea. The deal, brokered by the United Nations and Turkey, signed by Moscow and Kiev in July of 2022, is set to expire on the 18th of July. Crucially, the pact established a protected sea corridor, allowing Ukraine's agricultural goods to reach global markets. Now, here's what happens if the deal is not extended. First, the basics. Ukraine is a major producer of grains and oil seeds. The interruption to its exports at the outbreak of the war pushed global food prices to record highs. The current deal, agreed some five months after the war started, helped to bring down prices and to ease a global food crisis. Ukraine grain has also played a direct role with over 725,000 tons or 2.2 percent of the supplies shipped through the corridor used by the UN World Food Programme. Countries such as Ethiopia, Somalia and Yemen depend on the grain aid. The big question now, what happens if the deal ends? Now, prices for some staple foods will likely rise but the situation is better than in the months after the war began. Grain supplies have improved from other producers, such as Russia and Brazil. As per last week's data, wheat prices, the main ingredient in bread, have fallen by about 17% so far this year, while corn is down by around 26%. The current global food crisis, however, is far from over. The World Food Programme said last month that multiple emergencies had overlapped, creating the largest and most complex hunger and humanitarian crisis in over 70 years. In 2022, a record 349 million people experienced acute hunger and 772,000 teetered on the edge of the famine. Let's now take a look at the state of global food supplies. Global corn stocks began the 2021-22 season at a six-year low. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, one of the world's top corn exporters, led to a significant jump in prices. A sharp increase in exports from Brazil has helped to boost supplies, along with the export of nearly 17 million tons of corn through the corridor. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has forecast global corn stocks by the end of 2023-24 to 24 season will be at a five-year high. According to U.S. data, global wheat stocks are tighter and were at a seven-year low at the end of the 22-23 to 23 season. But looking forward, a slight increase is forecast for 23-24. to 24. If the deal ends, can the corridor operate without Russia? Let's take a look at this scenario next. Now, Ukraine's ports were blocked until the agreement was reached in July of last year. It is unclear whether it would be possible to ship grain if Russia withdrew. Additional war risk insurance premiums, which are charged when entering the Black Sea area, would go up. Ship owners could prove reluctant to allow their vessels to enter a war zone without Russia's agreement. War risk insurance policies need to be renewed every seven days for ships, costing thousands of dollars. In a call with his South African counterpart, Cyril Ramaphosa, on Saturday, Putin said the main objectives of the grain deal had not been achieved. Earlier, the Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, said that he had spoken to Putin and was confident that he would agree to a deal extension. But when asked by Russian press agencies, the Kremlin spokesperson did not confirm Erdogan's claims. Dmitry Peskov said, and I quote, there is no statement about this from the Russian side. Now for more on this, we were earlier joined by Dr. Malcolm Davis, a senior analyst in defense strategy and capability at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute from Canberra. I think probably yes. Uh, I think uh, that Putin knows that if he 
essentially pulls out of the grain deal and then reinstitutes the blockade of Ukraine's ports, uh, that would create a huge global crisis that would actually undermine uh, a key part of his support base in the, the, the global south. Uh, where the, a lot of this grain is going to provide food for large numbers of people. If uh, if that food, that grain is not shipped, and you have suddenly uh, a massive food crisis with starvation occurring in developing countries, uh, a lot of his support breaks away. So I I think probably the most likely scenario is that he will agree to keep the grain deal going at the last moment, but he's holding out for some sort of sign of concession from the West.